News of government intervention comes as reassurance to an anxious public and the seriousness of what authorities here are describing as the latest emergency in dealing with the stricken plant. Millions of dollars will now be spent on creating what's hoped will be an impenetrable underground barrier to prevent contaminated water from reaching the sea. Creating a barrier on such a large scale to stop a leak has never before been seen anywhere in the world. So the Japanese government believes it is essential the country steps forward to support its construction to make sure it's eventually completed. This latest attempt follows warnings from Japan's nuclear watchdog that the plant's operator, TEPCO, was incapable of dealing with the problem on its own. This is not an issue we can let TEPCO take complete responsibility for, and we have to deal with this at the national level. But many in Japan are asking why, two and a half years into this crisis, this major government action is being taken only now, and whether, if TEPCO had been ready to admit problems earlier, solutions could have been found sooner. They could have taken action much earlier than this if they had really thought about the people suffering in this disaster. They are late, but it is better than doing nothing. It would be a worse problem if they took no action. In spite of the new measures, experts warn there is still no guarantee of success. You need to keep cooling the reactors with water, but there is outside water pouring in and the tanks are filling up. More important, you have to face the fact that nuclear disaster is of such a complex nature, there is little you can do about it. The scale of the tragedy was unprecedented. Dealing with its most serious legacy is taking the Japanese nuclear industry into uncharted territory. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.